The study proposed is based on gender bias in sport, as typically sports psychology minimises the importance of gender bias and inequity still exists. Stereotype threat is observed when poor performance is the result of pressure associated with a negative stereotype of an individual's group's performance. Over the past decade, research in sports performance has become of interest where women's performance may be hampered due to persisting negative stereotypes. To date, only a small number of studies have investigated the aspect of stereotype threat in sports settings. Justification for the proposal stems from stereotype threat research being notably inconsistent, with effects emerging in some circumstances but not others. Additionally, the prevalence of stereotypes in sport and how it affects athletic performance gives rise to further research. Recent findings suggest stereotype threat cues may negatively impact women's performance on athletic tasks. Thus, the proposal is designed to build on previous work, also incorporating gender identity as a moderator, which may assist in explaining why stereotype threat is stronger or weaker in some cases. Additionally, AFL is considered a masculine sport with widespread stereotyping of females not performing as well as males. Thus, this is an important research opportunity. Rationale for selecting female athletes within a male-dominated sport is due to potential heightened decrements in female athletes' performance at this level. Also, previous results suggest it may be beneficial to focus on female athletic ability rather than male comparisons. The research question is, what are the performance effects of stereotype threat in female AFL players? With two hypotheses. One, stereotype threat participants will kick fewer goals than non-threat participants. Two, th stereotype threat will generate larger effects on performance for participants who possess strong gender identity. To engage participants, managers of amateur women's AFL teams will be approached. In terms of methodology, the proposed randomised control trial has a sole independent variable being threat versus non-threat conditions with task performance and effect of stereotype threat and gender identity on task performance as dependent measures. It is a between subjects design with interval and ratio data to be collected. Data collection will take place during regular training sessions. Male team managers are to be excluded to standardised test settings. The experiment will be female. Participants are to collect pen and clipboard containing information regarding the study along with a consent form and all materials will present as identical, thus ensuring self-randomised allocation to experimental groups, also making the experiment blind to allocation. The initial questionnaire will contain demographics, potential control variables and a number of ratings in relation to self-efficacy, goal scoring, performance and importance of the sport. Participants will be asked to write what they believe the purpose of the study is and an informational passage will contain the experimental manipulation. Additionally, a false explanation of the study's purpose will be included in relation to natural athletic ability and precision of AFL players when making kicks. The threat condition will contain stereotype threat cues and the non-threat condition will receive the same information without the stereotype threat cues. Participants will have five attempts to kick a goal from the 50 metre mark. Following the test, all participants will complete a second questionnaire containing the same ratings along with subjective experience of performance in the test and ratings of gender identity. On completion, participants must be thanked, debriefed and asked not to talk about the study's purpose or tasks with anyone who may still participate. This study is needed to support and build on previous findings and given the imbalance observed, research attention is required. The benefit of conducting this study will potentially yield effects for the wider athletic population and explain decrements in women's performance due to negative stereotypes. It is important to investigate female athlete groups as performance deficits can be detrimental.